As a real estate photographer who's in over a thousand houses a year, mobility and speed is huge for me. And that is why finding the best tripod for that that's durable is a big necessity. So today we are gonna talk about the best tripod you can get for landscape and real estate photography. Welcome back to the channel. For those of you that are new, my name is Jared Hoyman and I love photography and videography. The majority of you are male, but if there's a few females, I wanted to prove to my friends that some girls do subscribe to this channel. Leave a comment below to show that you exist. Now that that important thing is out of the way, we are talking about the KNF concept tripod that is carbon fiber and um yeah and companies sometimes give me things and so kent faith gave me the who's kent faith you're asking who's kent faith oh you probably know them as knf concept did you know that they go by kent faith i've been buying products from knf concept i'm sorry kent faith for the last 10 years I had no idea that was their name, but they go by KNF Concept, but their real name is Kent Faith. It, it sounds so cool. It's kind of like a celebrity name or something. Their slogan is first choice for photo and video products. And I will tell you, yes, I actually use them quite a bit for ND filters, for, well, tripods. I have actually gone through multiple KNF Concept, sorry, Kent Faith tripods over the years but they've always been aluminum. And that's why I have been going through them like every year because I bash the crap out of them. This one is carbon fiber. What's carbon fiber? I don't know, I'm not a scientist, but I will tell you that carbon fiber is five times stronger than steel. That's, it's huge, I guess, you know, I, I can't break steel. So how can I ever break this? I will tell you with the aluminum ones in the past, I have thrown gear on top of them and actually bent the legs up and therefore had to go buy some new ones. I never forked out the extra few dollars to get carbon fiber. But I will tell you after using this for the last couple of weeks, all my tripods in the future and extra tripods because you can never have enough will be carbon fiber. Now, although the tripod is super light, my gear on top is not. I have the 15 to 35 and I have the uh, R6 Mark II. It can be a little bit heavy, but still add on a tripod and it gets even heavier. So I'm just going to take the camera off of it and you can kind of see it in all its glory. What we're going to do is we're going to go outside. It is a little chilly, so I'm going to go put on my flannel. It is fall in Wisconsin, by the way. Now, I do want to throw out the disclaimer again. This was given to me to keep. They asked if I would do a review. And since I've done business with them before, I would say, yes, of course, I'll do a review because I've always loved your products. And so it is still my own opinion. They didn't tell me what to do. They didn't tell me what to do. They didn't tell me what to do. Oh, I got to get past that part of the script. Ah, just kidding. It is my own opinion. I will tell you I love it. And if this is something you're interested in or right now through December 31st, if you use the link below any product at Kent Faith, KNF Concept, you can get 10% off by using the code name Jared. Oh yeah. So I'm gonna go put on my flannel shirt. We're gonna go outside and we're gonna look at this fully extended. By the way, if I say metal a few times, I don't mean metal, I just mean it's carbon fiber. It's not metal. Flannel season here in Wisconsin because lows of 30s and highs of mid 50s. It's not that warm. So right here, I have the KNF Concept carbon fiber tripod. Wow, this thing is so light, it is awesome. Um, this is ideal for real estate and for landscape because you're mobile, you're moving around. It compacts nice and small too, um, yet it holds over 30 pounds of weight. No, this isn't 30 pounds of weight. <laughs> but if you wanted to put a high rig on here, get your Ninja V on this, um, soup it up with a monitor, um, this would be able to hold it. The great thing about carbon fiber as well opposed to aluminum, that's most tripods are aluminum, um, 
is this stuff is very durable. You can shove a lot of things on it, you can smash it, and it will not dent in. Aluminum, on the other hand, will definitely dent in. Now, the great thing about these tripods, and I highly recommend it, is the Arca Swiss mount. It's versatile, it's easy, and um, this one does come with that Arca Swiss mount. Um, the plate that I have on is actually from the Joby uh, Gorillapod. Um, just because I will slap this on the Gorilla Pod on my desk once in a while. But the mounting plate that comes with this is definitely more than enough that you need. Um, I just like this one because it is designed for the Joby and I can just put it on right away. So I always just keep it on. I never take off my Arca Swiss plates. I have them on all my cameras. I even keep them on my gimbal. As light as this is, it is pretty stable as well. And so you can just mount it in tighten it up and when I'm walking around a property in a house or doing any kind of landscape um, this is good and unlike a lot of other tripods this is nice and stiff and durable so when you put it in the position you want it it will stay um, you also have your uh, little clamps right here and you can then make it a little bit wider. We've got some people coming behind me. It's gonna be awkward, so I'm just gonna be still and see what happens. They think I'm a celebrity. Did they even notice me? Am I invisible? You can adjust this and it can be really low to the ground. So right here, and you can position any way you want. A lot of the tripods out there, especially the aluminum ones, have a little lever that you flip and then you can adjust the leg. Here, it is really easy. It's just a twist and then you can move it right there and adjust it. And what I do is I actually pre-adjust these. So these parts of the legs, these segments right here, are actually already pre positioned. I position these exactly the way I want there and the only time I have to switch when I'm at a job is this one. So I'll always go there and this is for some of those smaller rooms especially bathrooms you make them look bigger having a lower to the ground shot and then for main other rooms I keep it right there and it's just really easy to lock in and um, they're not pushing down. It's pretty still. Slide it off, I shove it in the car, exactly just like that. I just shove it in there and um, I'm good to go. I mean, this thing is so much lighter than aluminum. Plus in the winter, it shouldn't get as cold. It's gonna be more durable. It's not gonna rust like aluminum does. Um, and it's just solid. Now again, real time, this is what it looks like. I may not look super suave doing it. I always kind of slide it into place and then tighten it. It's ready to go. This is ideal for people that are doing real estate photography and architectural. If you're doing video production, there's other tripods I would highly recommend, but for the case of this, you can't go wrong. It is amazing. And you wanna keep everything level. So the ball head is important. So you've got this. The nice thing about these ball heads is you can adjust it right. And when you're in real estate and architectural photography, you want everything to be level. So I always, always use my little leveler built into the camera. I don't use the ball here because this is actually gonna be more accurate. And so we will line those lines up when it's all green, crank it. And now you see that it is level right there. Touch it. And that's exactly how you should do it because there's gonna be no shake with your landscape photos. Do a two second delay and do a touch trigger. It's easy. Now, I know you were really impressed by this tripod, but I think you were more impressed by the Insta360 with my iPhone 15 Pro, right? You don't need a second shooter or a shooter when you're doing these YouTube videos. You just need an iPhone or any kind of smartphone. And that Insta360, I'm gonna leave a link below for those because I cannot encourage enough creators out there to do it. Now, after using this for the last couple of weeks, I have noticed something really big about this tripod. And that is this, with the aluminum, the Allen wrench little uh, bolts there, they get super, super loose over time. And then I have an Allen wrench key and then 
also known as a hex key. I don't know what country says what, but I say Allen wrench. Some people say hex key, but that hex key or Allen wrench key, um, I'm always tightening it and making sure it's good. Um, and that's after a few days of use. I always have to tighten it. With this, I don't know if it is anything with the design or because it's, um, you know, with the carbon fiber, but it is as stiff as it was on day one. Because this is an Arca Swiss ball head, this is just universal for most everything that you need. I use Arca Swiss on all of my camera gear and I keep it on there. So my cameras just move right to this. Even my gimbals have it on there. So then if I want my gimbal to be on a tripod, I just put it on. And the fact that this uses 33 pounds for what you're gonna use for landscape, architectural, or real estate photography, you're never going to have too much on there. Put on the heaviest lens, the heaviest camera, uh, Atomos Ninja, um, some mics, and you're still probably at 15 pounds at the most. And like I mentioned outside, the tightening little wheel here is easier to use. It's more grippier, stronger, whereas a lot of other models will have that round wheel or ball that you're kind of twisting. Here, you're using gloves. It's in the winter. In my case, I'm in Wisconsin. It's in the winter half the year. You know, the guy from Napoleon Dynamite who tried to bend the Tupperware to impress his wife when Kip was selling them Tupperware, and he was like, I can't. I'm sorry, I can't. And then his wife was like ashamed of him because he couldn't bend Tupperware. Well, that's how I feel. So um, I don't bend this in front of my wife or I'm gonna look pretty weak. It still impresses me that carbon fiber is five times stronger than steel, yet it is lighter than metal. This thing is super durable. I'm looking forward to putting it through its paces in the winter because that's where I really beat these things up. I will say, I could see myself probably going through some more of these um, rubber little connectors on the feet. Um, these would probably wear off faster than anything else on this. Oh, and I totally forgot to mention, it's not a huge thing for me because I never use it, but this does work to be, check this out. If you're doing photography and somebody comes to attack you, you can unscrew this and then just beat them because it's five times stronger than steel and yet it's light and you can hit them over the head a few times. Now, you don't do that. This is actually a monopod and yet it can be a weapon too. It just depends. I would totally do something pretty cool with it. All right, we're gonna put this back. Now this is a secret between you and me, okay? This is where you hide your beating stick. When somebody tries to steal your gear, you beat them with that. Okay, that's all I got. Don't forget to use the link below and use the code name Jared to get that 10% off till the end of this year, December 31st. And if you're bored, check out these videos because uh, Google's telling you to. They know you better than I know you because they know those are the ones that you want to watch.